Hey guys, I am going to do an eye video. Get ready with me. My makeup I've already halfway done, but um, I really just want to do the eye because I'm going to do different colors. Um, I'm still playing around with the um, uh, the Beauty Bar Radiant Eyes. I do like it, but we're going to go green today, and I wanted to share that with you guys. So I'm fixing to put on the um, Shadow Insurance 24-hour um, eye cream for it's the by Too Faced by Too Faced and I watched a get ready with me video last night and I can't remember her name it was awesome it was totally awesome and I'm gonna put it right here what her name is um, and when I watched her I was like I want to do that so I'm gonna do that today mine may be maybe a tad bit different than hers but it's not going to be too much different okay i'm going to use um right now i'm going to use the sugar this right here the sugar this is still like i said the beauty bar radiant eyes palette and i'm going to use the sugar and i'm going to do it all over the eye really no i'm not i'm just going to do it right here under the eye and then I'm going to go back and use cotton for all over the eye. And then I'm going to put it right here. Y'all know I like to use my fingers when it comes to my eyelids. It just seems to go on better, that's all. And you know, if I hold my mouth open the right way, it'll all work out. Right? Right. Okay. Now, I'm going to go in with uh, cotton right here. Cotton. And I'm going to put that all over. Cotton is a pretty color. It's a good transition color. I remember the word transition huh. it's gonna be a light color it's not as you can tell it's not gonna be a dark color we're gonna go the dark color here in just a second and we're gonna go green this is Halloween by the way happy Halloween um, we don't celebrate Halloween per se um, we do celebrate children who like candy and so our church is doing a trunk or treat we're going to give candy which we figure if, if they are at our church getting candy then they won't be out in the streets getting um, candy laced with drugs right so we have to support our community and our children and that's exactly what we're fixing to do however it is rainy overcast today very rainy overcast so we have decided to move it in our gym. We have a big gym and we're going to do it all inside the gym. So, anyway, we're going to get her done. Now, then, now that I've done that, now we are going to go in with the color eggplant. I always use this so I know what it's called eggplant right here. And I'm going to use a flat brush for this. I think I'm going to use this one. This is a uh, this is by Sakura. My brush is by Sakura. I'm going to use this little flat brush. And I'm going to go in right here. In here. With the green. It's a pretty green. It's a dark green. I'm wearing camo tonight. Or I say camo. I'm going to wear my camo shirt. So that's why I want to go green. And we're going to do it over here. Right around in here. And on the end, I'm going to go this way with it. And go back over here. Do it up a little bit right in there. That's where I want it. And then we're going to do it on the inside. Right in here. Inside of the lid gonna bring it up like that 
bring it back up like that. And then of course I'm going to go back a little bit and kind of refix that a little bit. And I'm going to go back with the other and kind of, you know, I'm going to blend this in again here in a minute, but just bear with me. Now then, wait a minute, I still need it right here in the middle. Now then, we are going to go in with gold. I know, right? Gold. It's Halloween. Let's do gold, right? Okay. We are going to go in with gold. Now then, I'm going to use in the gold palette. Oh, I have two different... I don't think I'm going to like that. We're going to go in with this one. This is by LA Colors. It's called Shimmering Loose Eyeshadow with a Brush. I used to love these. I used to use these all the time. However, I don't know if I'm going to use that brush or not. Well, maybe I will. Let's see how it works with this brush. And we're going to go right in the middle. Right smack in the middle. This is how she did hers last night. However, you know, she said, you don't have to use the shimmer or the glitter if you're not a glitter person. Sorry, interruption. Um, okay. Now, I put the glitter on, as you can see, um, right in the middle. But I'm kind of going to go, you know, kind of back over this just a little bit. Kind of blend that in. Back over that just a little reason that one right there just don't look right I don't know what the deal is where's my go back over it kind of like to do a little bit you know a little bit of touch up for to make sure it's blended and it looks good I love the glimmer I love shimmer and glimmer y'all know that y'all know that well right that's just how I roll She didn't necessarily, I think she used what she used here as for up there, but I like mine up right below my eyebrow. I like it light. Noticeable. I don't like it to blend in, so I'm doing that one a little bit different. Okay, and then I'm going to take this brush. This is made by Sakura. Also, it's called the Large Shadow Brush. And then I'm kind of going to just blend this in. So it'll just kind of look all blended. And I may, oops, that's on my nose. I may do a little bit with my finger. Because y'all know, to me it ain't complete unless it's with my finger. Obsession, right? And that's going to be it. That is going to be it right there. Okay. I really like that. I really, really do. Okay, let me finish the rest of my makeup. And where is the rest of my makeup? I'm going to use this. Uh, it's called New Wear something glow. I can't read. Anyway, it's uh, made by Physicians Formula. And I'm going to go ahead and use this right below of course cover up y'all know I put that orange under there to make my to cover up the wrinkles and the puffs I do I know I do I do I do it's horrible I do I do and then I just take this and most of the time I take the end of it because it's easier to do and then I just kind of pat it out And that's how I do that. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and do contouring and all of that good stuff. And then we're going to move on. I still got to do my... Uh, I'm going to be out today, tonight, in the rain. So I'm not really going to do a whole lot of, you know, 
which I always say that then I wind up doing full makeup anyway. You know how that goes. I'm going to cover up that double chin down there, you know, make it look kind of shadowy. Shadowy. Okay, and then we're going to go in with, oh, that was, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you, that was Elf Contouring, um, Contouring Blush and Bronzer. You've seen it a hundred times, I've already hit pan. This is Milani, um, 08 Coralina is the color for the blush, the blush. And this has a little bit of shimmer in it also, of which I told y'all I like shimmer. I know I'm old, but I still like a little bit of shimmer, glitter, you know. Yeah. I do. I do. I do. And then, last but not least, we're going to go in with the L'Oreal True Match Alumina. Alumi? Or Lumi? Lumi. And I'm hitting pan. Oops, I don't ever use that one. Let's see. Hitting pan on this one, too. This one will be definitely be a rebuy. If I ever do favorites, which I should, I don't do them very often, this should definitely be in one of my favorites because it's one of my favorites. Get it? Get it? And then what I do is I still take this the same Lumina and I go in and I just kind of go above my eyebrow like so, and I put my eyebrow right here, right there, and then I'll blend that in here in a minute. Okay, then I'll take that and kind of blend it in, and of course you guys know my favorite thing to do is um, put this on my brows. I've got a brow machine, or machine, it's, it's like to do my own brows because I just can't seem to have time to go get them done. And you know, you can do them all yourself. And I'll be glad when that thing gets here because, oh, my brows are. I'll show you when it comes in. I will show you. I will show you. Okay, I'm going to do my eyes and it takes too long to do my eyes, so I'll come back in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you how I do. I'm going to do one eye and show you how I do it to make my eyes look like this because this is my normal eyelash. You know, I told you my eyelashes just don't work. Well, I have found a way. And if you, I mean, this isn't for everybody. So if you're like, oh, I don't know, then don't do it. But this works for me. I take my eyelash curler and a lighter. And I take the lighter and I go around the top and I go kind of where it'll, where it'll kind of get the bottom. Then I kind of let it cool for just a second. You don't want to put it on your eye hot. And then you'll take it. This just kind of serves as a... I like to get it way out there though. This just kind of serves as a... You know how a, cur a hot curling iron will curl your hair? Well, basically, that's the same thing this thing does. When I put the lighter to it, it just makes it warm enough. And then be sure you check it. Don't... Um, don't put it on your eye and burn your eyeball. Um, you just have to kind of, you know, use your own common sense when you do it. And see how it just kind of curls your lash up. And trust me, it stays. It really stays. And it really, it doesn't hurt the eyelash curler. I mean, it's like, it's like I'm losing my eyelashes. But <laughs> no, it's, it doesn't hurt your eyelash curler. And like I said, just make sure... It's, you know, if it's hot to the touch, then don't put it on your eye. Let it cool a little bit. But I only do it just enough to, you know, warm it and do that. And that's how that works. Now, let me get this. Uh, what I'm using is the Waterproof Hydro Hydrofuge Cover Girl Total Tease. This is what I'm using. So, let me go ahead and get this on. It takes me a while and I'll be right back with you. So, later. Okay, guys. That is it. Um, that is it for my eye look. I have applied, uh, as I told you, I used the, where did I put it? I used the Maybelline, um, yeah, no, CoverGirl, CoverGirl Total Tease on my, eye, on my eyelashes. However, on the bottom eyelashes, I used uh, the Better Than Sex Too Faced on the bottom ones. And um, I guess that's going to be it. I hope you, oh. 
I know I was going to tell you, for underneath my eye, underneath here, I went in with, let's see, Dawn, Earth and Canyon, okay, I went in with the Dawn from here to here, from here to here, and then I mixed the, um, with Earth, this is called Earth, and this is called Canyon, so I went in with these two, kind of mixed them together, and put them here and here. And that's kind of how she did hers. She just kind of mixed it, you know, from the out in and then from the in to a little bit over. And I like that look. And I hope you can see it. Um, there is my eye look for tonight. And again, like I said, I am wearing a camouflage shirt. And um, so I thought I would kind of... This kind of looks camouflage actually, don't it? Sort of, kind of. Sort of, kind of. So anyway, that is the look for tonight, and I hope you enjoyed my video, and um, I'm sorry I didn't do all my makeup with you guys, but it takes so long. I am going to go in with the LA Colors, um, LA Colors powder, and I got a little bit much there, didn't I? I kind of went a little bit overboard with the highlighter. Just a tad. I want to shine, but I don't want to shine. You know what I mean? I want to shine, but I don't want to shine. I don't want to shine. And that is it. And I just washed my hair, so I'm sure when I take it down, I always have to pin it back when I'm putting my makeup on. And then when I bring it down, it's like wild and wooly. But I have to go do it here in a minute. I have to get all this pushed down. And you know, you know how it goes when look at this gray. It's time again. Time again. Oh, Lordy. Okay, anyway, that's it for my get ready with me. I hope this one was a little quicker than the others because I know sometimes you just kind of get bored if it if it goes on and on and on forever. So, And oh, by the way, my eyelashes, do you see how they're kinked up after I heated them? I seen on online somewhere that they make a heated eyelash curler. I don't know, where have I been? You know, I, I sound like I just crawl under a rock. I got to find it and I got to get it because... If this works, just, just imagine what the other one would do, you know? So anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a happy Halloween. And when I say that, I don't mean happy ghouls and evils and devils. I mean, I hope you have a happy candy, a happy candy ween. How's that? Um, that the little children throw the little children that they get candy and just satisfies their hearts. And um, yeah, I hope you have a good one. A, a good one without any I just seen on the news that two little kids that have already been trick-or-treating their candy was laced with uh, I don't know if it's LSD or cocaine it was laced with drugs so you know what this is an evil world out there so be safe be careful and if you have one in your area go to your local church that is having one because you know we can always help and pray that our churches are safe and passing out safe candy because I know we are going to be tonight. So, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Um, I will, I will have a vlog. I'll probably vlog a little bit on the way to church tonight for um, our Halloween, and um, I have to get another one up. You know, when I when I bragged about having um, it, doing one every other day, then I just quit. Gee, but anyway, it's been kind of hectic. But that's no excuse, neither here nor there, and. Um, Keep watching and click the bell subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up help me grow my channel please if you know anybody that would enjoy my channel please tell them about me i would greatly appreciate it okay guys i hope you guys have a good morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching this and if it's after halloween just have a happy fall day and i will catch you guys later bye